Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about noise ratios. Noise from the outside of our structure to the inside of our structure, and then noise inside of our structure leaving the structure. Noise transmission is kind of that two-way valve. So barrier is a device we build between the source of the noise and the receiver. By definition, it's called a barrier. Room walls, we have the three walls. Remember, we have the BTU wall, the noise wall, and the treatment wall. So there's really three walls that we have to be concerned with when we're doing our room. The barrier design is always a ratio of the outside to inside noise or inside to outside noise. Now, it's not a linear, excuse me, not a linear relationship, but the goal is to look at the maximum amount of energy that we have to deal with, and then we have to look at what we want inside the room as a noise floor. So it's a ratio of what's going on outside to what we want inside. So that's the key here. So if we got an outside measurement, let's say 75 dB SPL across the range, and we want an inside noise floor of 40, well, we have our work cut out for us, okay? So we got, you know, 25 points here, that we have to look at. So how do we get from 75 to 40, 75 on the outside to 40 on the inside, okay? We all know that barrier design is frequency and amplitude dependent. So we gotta make sure that we measure the noise over seven days, two, three times a day, we get our mins and maxes. So the maximum pressure on each day may vary, and it may vary by frequency. So garbage truck Tuesday morning, low frequency problem Tuesday morning something else in the afternoon, but we have to measure all that. We have to get a pressure map of what's going on in the week so we can design for it. The design for problems below 125 and above 125, completely different design, completely different structure. This double wall green glue nonsense that we see all the time, it's really just good here. It won't do much for the low end. And it takes up 10 inches of space. It's a waste. It's a waste of material. It's a waste of labor. It's a waste of money. Construction methodologies are different for low frequency versus middle and high frequency energy. To take all of that in consideration, that's why we have to measure, measure, measure. Every day I get calls, every day I see room forms. Well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do this or that. And my first question is, why? Well, I read about it. I heard about it. Whatever. Okay. 95% of the stuff on the net is nonsense when it comes to noise. Most of those guys never built a room in their life. They have no idea what they're talking about, okay? They're just trying to get, you know, up front and get clicks or whatever it's called. Construction methodology is different. That's why we got to measure. Because with noise, you don't want to spend any more money than you have to. Not one dollar more. Because that money could go to treatment, which you can see and hear. Noise, you never get back because it's a permanent construction build, okay? We use a sandwich technique. It's frequency and amplitude dependent. Got over 30 or 40 of these that we use depending on your noise situation. So you can see here in some of the examples, we have one a particular sandwich with, with mass-loaded vinyl, MDF. We use OSB sometimes. You can see other techniques that are vastly thicker for lower frequency analysis. Sometimes it's better to put the most dense material facing the noise, sometimes it's not. Remember, we're dealing with vibration transmission. It's vibrational acoustics, it's a completely different science, okay? So our lower noise floor, what does it mean for us? Higher resolution. We hear more if the noise floor is lower. Our new facility here, a research and development facility, multiple channel facility, we're down in the 30s so quiet. I mean, it's really, really quiet. And we hear so much more of the favorite songs we've played thousands of times. I mean, I'm even baffled after all of these years hearing new things, okay? It's always been there. The room won't let us hear it. So we got to take the noise numbers and we got to develop a strategy. This guessing with noise is a fool's game. You will guess wrong most of the time, 95% of the time. Here's the problem with a wrong guess. Tear it out, start all over again. Whoops, there goes our budget, there goes our patience, there goes our bank account. 
So with noise, we have to develop a strategy. 100% fixed, 100% right. Let's get it right at the beginning and be done with it, okay? Noise is a pain. Let's get rid of it right at the beginning and figure out what we need to do. Noise ratios, noise outside, quiet inside. That's what we have to judge, all righty? I really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.